Buenos dias. We're here today in Old San Juan to visit uh, the Museo de las Americas, the Museum of the Americas. We're hoping to find one of the masks of Miguel Caraballo here, but also to learn about the Americas and what this museum has to offer. So, vámonos! Here's where we're going today. We've got to find the second floor somewhere. But here, first we're going to look at the beautiful courtyard. Wow, look at this place. On the second floor. It's just a beautiful space here, isn't it? It is. And a small restaurant here, which looks interesting. I've seen a few places today that I wouldn't mind coming back to eat. First thing we're met with reminds me of Mexico. But this is a Museo de las Americas, so. from some parade in uh, San Sebastian. This is uh, my style of band. They play garfones, they play shovels. I could, uh, I could be a member of that band with my limited musical talent. One of my favorite Spanish words is guagua, which means truck. And uh, the, the, the actual, <laughs> I mean, sorry, actually, my Spanish, my one of my fit most, uh, one of my. Uh, most favorite Puerto Rican words is guagua, which means bus. And uh, here, this uh, this mural, this piece of art, is called uh, La Guagua Area. And uh, so I see the uh, the bus, I guess, floating upside down in the uh, in a lake. But I just love the word guagua. This is the Sala of Tapestries. as so, and then he pieced the umbrella as the viewer piece a regular umbrella, 
and afterwards they saw uh, faces peer out uh, using the, the, the combination of all those uh, little strips of cloth. And so finally the, the artist decided to bring them out a little more. That's why you see the paint. Hmm. With the paint bring out those faces a little more. Uh, then they uh, decided to make this pin. Um, the spinning action uh, helps uh, create the mesmerizing effect, the kaleidoscope effect. This exhibit is called the Perception in Space. These are 3D pieces of art from a Puerto Rican artist who is still alive, actually. He's about 45. And his name is Gustavo Fuentes Bologna. And now we're in the room of. Uh, Eroticism in uh, what is this pre Hispanic art? Pre Hispanic times? Pre Columbian. So now we're in the room of uh, eroticism in pre Columbian times. Oh, oh, oh. No, yeah, not just exactly. Exactly. So uh, they said that a lot of these times these, uh, these figures, when found previously, you know, were destroyed because uh, they were against the values of the time. And it's only you know, now in the late 20th century or you know, the, uh, the 21st century that uh, they've been able to uh, display them. Uh, we're in the Sala of Puerto Rican art. Popular art. Popular. The oh, popular art of the Americans, okay. Maybe I should have read the sign. There you go, your baskets. is a little bit better than ours. Not too much though. Just a little bit better than ours. Thing is though, the cheap time is the rest is his style. Yeah, definitely. I mean, if you want inspiration for Star Wars, you just have to come here. Yeah. This is a Day of the Dead altar. Well, we stopped and got some coffee. Here you got the Don Ruiz Coffee of Puerto Rico, and uh, the coffee shop is uh, pretty interesting here. So let's uh, let's go inside. here, kind of interesting, but the most impressive thing here is I think they actually do their own roasting right in the shop. They're not roasting right now, but uh, looks like this is an active roaster. And, uh, they got a complete, complete big setup here, so that's, uh, that's pretty cool. So Lisa. How would you categorize our little visit here to the Museo de las Americas? 
You know, it was really an undiscovered gem. I don't think I would have even known it existed because it was way off at the end and it was really very little signage at all. So I'm glad that we came here looking for a mask because we found so much more than just a mask. We found a really fascinating museum that talked about all the historical elements that create Puerto Rican culture and Latin American culture, slavery, colonialism. It, it was just so interesting and the art was out of this world. So I would recommend to anybody who comes to visit Old San Juan or San Juan to come into Old San Juan and spend a couple hours in the Museo de las Americas. Not sure we found that mask, <laughs> but we found some awesome masks and a lot, a lot of really interesting cultural elements. And our cost to get in here was $8. I'm not exactly sure how they calculated that cost because I thought it was going to be 10 but uh, nonetheless, it cost us, cost us $8 to come in here. Yeah, and it was definitely worth it. Yeah, and uh, this place, you know, this whole courtyardy thing reminded me of a lot of Tom Palaque or Guadalajara. Yeah. Uh, you know, a museum in, in a very similar, very similarly sized courtyard and, and building structure just like this. So, um, yeah, and I was just reading that they actually have um, little events here in this courtyard on Sunday afternoons for families. Yeah. And unfortunately, the next one is after we leave, but maybe when we come back, we can go and see what yeah. these are all about. So, uh, we recommend people taking the hike up the hill. Yep. So it's right close to El Moro, mm -hmm. and uh, so if you go to El Moro, you want to come in, get some coffee, get something to drink, uh, get out of the sun a little bit, uh, this is a nice place to, uh, to spend an, an hour or so. Yep. Yeah, it definitely is. So until next time, may your suitcase always be messy. And don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and ring the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. And until then, hasta luego!